sunscreen face smells and burns my eyes so this is a common reaction of my patient with the sensitive skin when asked to use sunscreen into their daily routine so see some of the uv filters uh, which provide uh, or protect you from the harmful uv rays can also cause the allergic reaction and this allergy may include uh, stinging and burning in the right eyes redness itching and swelling of the skin uh, so this is really important to choose the product which suits your skin type uh, and uh, provide uh, adequate amount of the sun protection uh, as uh, sunscreen is an unavoidable uh, part of your skincare routine. So hi hey everyone, I'm Dr. Ankita. Welcome to another one of my video and here to explain you how to choose right sunscreen when your skin is sensitive and with few uh, sunscreen recommendations for the same. So the sensitive skin is the one uh, which has less tolerance to the applications of cosmetic product and personal care products. So the people with the sensitive skin have local reaction uh, with certain chemical ingredients, dyes and fragrances which present in the product when comes in the contact with the skin. So as I said before, uh, they may experience stinging and burning in the eyes, redness, irritation, uh, itching, swelling, etc. Uh, eyelids are more sensitive to this kind of the allergic reaction. So whenever you try new product and your, your eyes start burning and stinging and eyelids get swelled, then this is allergic reaction to that particular product. And same can happen with the sunscreen also. So um, uh, that is why it is important to find the right product which is very gentle even for the most reactive skin type. And now we most of the product we get in the market are hybrid sunscreens. So that means it contains both the physical and the chemical filters. And uh, it has found that after some researches that the physical sunscreen are more suitable to the sensitive skin type than the chemical sunscreen. As the chemical sunscreen are more prone to stings and burns. So that is why uh, you have to choose the physical over the chemicals. If your skin is sensitive till now you all must know that sunscreen comes in the two different forms physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreen so physical sunscreen also known as the mineral sunscreen and sunblock uh, as its name suggests physical sunscreen works by creating the physical barrier between your skin and ultraviolet rays which uh, reflect the uv rays and before they get penetrated into the skin and uh, the physical sunscreen has uh, hypoallergic and uh, you know skin soothing minerals like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide now this zinc oxide is a white powdery compound and along with providing you the sun protection uh, it has antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties which help with the wound healing also it also used to uh, treat certain kind of the skin conditions and allergies and the rashes so this is the one of the ingredient in the um, the diaper rash cream also so one of the main benefit of using physical sunscreen is that uh, it uh, works by uh, sitting on the top of the skin. So there's a less chances of the skin irritation. Second, it works immediately after uh, applying, providing you the instant barrier. While chemical sunscreen works by absorbing UV rays and converting them to the heat, which then release by our skin later on. And it has chemical ingredients like oxybenzone and avobenzone, which when comes in the contact with your skin may cause irritations and allergic reactions when your skin is sensitive. Otherwise, chemical uh, sunscreen are good as they come in the lightweight and thin formulations. So can be applied very easily without leaving any white cast. And now physical sunscreen has a uh, few drawbacks like uh, it leaves white cast uh, because of that, uh, you know, powdery white compound zinc oxide. And uh, it comes in a little thick consistency compared to the chemical com uh, uh, sunscreens, which uh, makes it little difficult to blend it properly and apply it thoroughly but uh, thankfully nowadays uh, we are getting good options in the physical sunscreen which does not leave white cast or leaves minimal white uh, cast will not be visible after a uh, proper blending most of the sunscreen we get in the market are the combination of both physical and the chemical filters and there is nothing like one works better than the other both are great or excellent at providing the sun protection but since your skin is sensitive it is ideal to stick to the physical sunscreen now along with uh, avoiding the chemical filters in your sunscreen and there are few more things that you have to keep in the mind before buying a sunscreen uh, 
like uh, your sunscreen should be the fragrance free because the fragrances are um, known to cause irritation and allergies it should be sls free parabens free and uh, oil free uh, free from any kind of the preservatives uh, it should be non comedogenic and uh, yeah always choose the one with spf at least 30 or more broad spectrum and water resistant so now here are uh, the few sunscreen recommendations most of them are the physical sunscreen which works well for the sensitive skin type so the first is reequil or mc pen oxybenzone free sunscreen it comes with spf 50 and pa plus 3 rating uh, oxybenzone and omc are the common ingredient in the chemical based sunscreen uh, which can cause the Ill, uh, allergic reaction when it comes in the contact with the skin especially when your skin is sensitive and uh, it is a broad spectrum sunscreen uh, it has uh, you know very light and uh, non greasy formula with the matte finish so suitable for oily and acne prone skin type as well uh, it is sls free paraben free and sulfate free sunscreen it has mild in uh, you know smell Uh, but uh, uh, it does not uh, you know bother and uh, it uh, does not leave any white cast and uh, neither it will be sweaty so even if you tend to sweat a lot it will hold up against the sweating very well reequil has another option as well uh, which is uh, tinted one and that is reequil zinc tinted sunscreen comes with spf 50 and pa plus 3 rating uh, this one is 100% mineral sunscreen and uh, as it is tinted sunscreen it blends with every skin tone uh, with absolutely zero white cast so that can be the concern with the 100% mineral sunscreen generally and it is also sls free paraben free and it has no fragrance the next is lashil pollution protect mineral sunscreen gel uh, comes with spf 50 and pa plus 3 rating it's again 100% mineral sunscreen and that is why it can be used on all the age group above the 6 month and on the pregnant woman also it provides both uh, protection to both ultraviolet a and b it is a broad spectrum sunscreen and uh, it is a water resistant Uh, weight, uh, weightless and uh, oil free formula uh, and it also does not clog the pores because of its gel texture and uh, along with the sun protection it has unique uh, or pollution uh, defense mechanism or formula uh, which uh, you know provide the uh, or protect the skin's natural uh, barrier function as well so definitely something i recommend to everyone even if your skin is not sensitive and you are looking for the physical sunscreen with or at the good price next comes uh, sun cross uh, matte finish soft gel it is a chemical free sunscreen comes with a spf 50 and pa plus 3 rating and uh, the, the the texture of the sunscreen is very soft and that's why it glides very easily on the skin uh, it gives matte finish but while still uh, moisturizing the skin and uh, it has little thick consistency but uh, it can be blend very easily and uh, it is a non comedogenic formula so it is a good options for even oily and acne prone skin also uh, as it is a physical sunscreen and free from any chemical agent and fragrances it can be used on all the age group above the 6 month and on the pregnant woman it has also another variant uh, that is uh, designed designated for the sensitive skin type specially and that is uncross aqua lotion spf 50 This one is not 100% uh, physical sunscreen but it has hypoallergenic ingredients that will not irritate your skin so you can try this one also the next is z block uh, zinc oxide sunscreen gel uh, comes with spf 50 and pa plus 3 rating Uh, it is a physical sunscreen with 25% of the zinc oxide uh, it's chemical free actives like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide provide uh, safe but uh, sure sun protection and uh, it has uh, creamy mousse like textures which uh, you know provide silky smooth velvety feel on the skin and uh, it is also water resistant up to the 80 minutes and non comedogenic uh, it leaves white cast little bit white cast uh, but it will you know uh, will not be visible after the few minutes of blending but when if your skin is uh, if your skin tone is deeper then um, the chances are there uh, it becomes more visible on your skin so it suits well to the fair skin tone and the dry skin type the last is apcl uh, cam free sunscreen with spf 30 plus uh, it's a pure a uh, physical sunscreen comes with micronized form of the uh, physical filter like uh, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide so along with the, um, sun protective filters it also contain hyaluronic acid which improve the hydration level of the skin and also some brightening complex like Uh, to provide the even skin tone like alpha arbutin uh, multi fruit alpha hydroxy acid and ferulic acid 
so uh, it is a non comedogenic and uh, lightweight formula which absorbs very quickly quickly into the skin and uh, it has very mild fragrance which is non synthetic and natural fragrance so these are few options that you can try uh, that are dermatologically tested which works well for the sensitive skin type and even if your skin type is normal you can try uh, this one uh, if you want to choose the physical filters over the uh, chemical one now again this video is not uh, for the promotion of any kind of the product i have mentioned here uh, this is only for the general awareness and information as uh, uh, the so many people are confused uh, which one to buy out of so many products available in the market right and all the suggestions here are uh, from the personal experiences and the reviews i get from my patient and uh, from the little research work only so uh, result may vary from person to person hope this video help you to choose the right sunscreen that you uh, enjoy applying every day into your daily skincare routine and before leaving subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever i post anything new thank you